Hey, what's going on everybody? This is David Pritchard, your health and performance coach. Happy Friday. I promise this is gonna be a quick one. Uh, just got done again, having an incredible movement session with uh, now with team members, people from around the world. Um, it's just been truly inspiring to spend time with all of these amazing individuals, <clears throat> helping them get healthy, strong. Focus topic is today is When's the last time you cried? Um, you know, I, I cried this morning. <laughs> so I'm gonna admit this to you guys. Um, and it was um, a series of things that have just happened. And you know, uh, you know, a lot of tough conversations this week with a lot of uh, coaching clients and hearing some of the things that they're fearful about and some things are realistic and of course some things aren't. Um, and just, you know, kind of feeling the, uh, the energy around the world, around my city, around my neighborhood has really just kind of, you know, it's kind of hit me this week. And one of the things is vulnerability is the one thing I've been working on a lot lately is just being vulnerable with how I'm feeling. Uh, I haven't always been that way. I'm someone who's been strong and um, never really knew if I was having a bad day or not. I was just, just overcome it. I just didn't really talk about it. And what this, uh, situation has really taught me is that the most important thing that we can all do is just being honest and talk about how we're feeling and being vulnerable and this morning I just woke up and it just really really hit me and I had a conversation yesterday with my daughter my 10 year old daughter Gabriella and one of the things that we talked about was she asked me she said daddy is you know is are we ever gonna go back to normal are we is it ever gonna be the same again you know, but the one thing that I felt was just her fear and her her not knowing, her uncertainty. And as a father, it just obviously breaks my heart, you know. And um, of course, I talked to her and I, I've been as honest as I I've could with a lot of, you know, things that are going on with my children without telling them everything. You know, they don't need to know everything. Uh, there's so much politics and negative stories going on. But the one thing that I wanted her to know was that we can control our environment my personal environment, my house, my neighborhood, my family. I can't control much more than that. I can't control what the world's gonna do. I can't control what, what our politicians are gonna do. I can't control any of this. And I told her, I said, you know, each and every day we wake up and you ask yourself, what are you grateful for? And then how are you gonna show that gratitude to somebody, a friend, teacher, family member, that's all, that's what we can control. We can control our health, what we do every day to take care of ourselves. We can control our mind. You know, I, I love a, a quote by one of my mentors back in the day, Jim Rohn, and he would say, stand guard at the door of your mind. And I think that's so important more now than ever is what we're putting in our head, what we're putting in our mind, eventually goes into, you know, fear and anxiety. And um, it affects our, our emotional, mental health. And this conversation with my daughter, when I woke up this morning, um, we had this yesterday, I just really, it was heavy on my heart. And I thought about it and I said to myself, you know, as a parent, it's our job to make them feel secure, make them feel good. And uh, my son's not graduating eighth grade, which is really you know, no big deal, eighth grade. High school, I know, and college. And we talked about that. About, but I'm sad for him, you know? I feel bad that he's never gonna have that moment with his buddies and his friends. And I think all we can do is just take on each day and be grateful for it and control what we can control. Control our mind, control our mindset, what we focus on, our family, you know, spending time with them. That's it. And, and pay attention and be smart. Those are all things, of course, that we need to do. But just maybe disconnect a little bit from the things that are maybe causing you fear and causing you to be maybe um, overwhelmed with emotions and, and, and those things. So again, each and every day we get a chance to wake up in the morning, be grateful for waking up, be grateful for having that opportunity to make a difference in someone's life. I know I am blessed beyond belief that I get to make a difference in the lives of my family, my children, and uh, my coaching clients. So again, guys, have a wonderful weekend, disconnect, Connect with yourself, self-care, 
and get outside, go for walks, breathe in the beautiful fresh air. And then maybe, just maybe, you're gonna need to cry and it's okay. You know, I did feel better afterwards. Um, and, and there's nothing wrong with that. You know, especially guys, there's nothing wrong as a man to cry and be vulnerable. And uh, it just means you're really feeling what is going on out there. And it's important to feel. You can't just put your hands over your eyes and think all oh, this is gonna go away, cause it's not. So guys, take care, have a wonderful, blessed weekend. Everybody be well, stay healthy.